All right, this is the Nasher boss fight. As you can see, I'm about level 13 when I complete this boss. Uh, this is a this is a fun boss, and it's got two very distinct sides to it, I guess. Uh, the first part of this boss fight is the easy part, I guess. The, um, <clears throat> basically, just the tail and the head of the boss are kind of like digging through the ground, and we haven't even technically begun the real named boss fight part of it, but I figured I'd show this part anyway and include it in it because it might not be completely obvious what to do. Uh, have the death grip equipped and ready to use at a moment's notice. Uh, when he... So, during this part of it, he cannot actually damage you when he's under the ground, but when he pops up above the ground after you've done a little bit of damage to him, and starts doing that little wheel attack, uh, he can do damage to you. And he actually does a good amount of damage. I, I don't know if my character's just under-equipped or under-leveled or what, but uh, I some of these bosses actually still do a whole lot of damage to me. So it should only take two or three attempts, two or three death grips to uh, knock him into his full form. Here we go. Yeah, and this is the size of boss we were expecting. The real Nasher appears. So this is a fairly... Eh, not easy boss, but he's easy to maneuver. If you've got a weapon with uh, frost or ice damage on it, it'll freeze him pretty quickly and make it much easier to avoid his attacks. So... On Nightmare difficulty, I almost always choose a weapon with ice or frost damage just to make sure, just for that like extra slowing ability, it comes in hand so much and it just makes it so much easier to survive. So uh, for this half of the boss fight, I guess, uh, continue to have the death grip equipped because when he um, opens his face, I guess, and gives you that that purple death grip icon to grab. Uh, you need to grab that right away, and if you don't, he's gonna regenerate health and you will not be able to get past that phase of the boss fight. Um, he'll just keep, like, you, you can just keep damaging him over and over and over again and just keep chopping away, and you think that, like, you'll see the damage keep going down, but then you realize, oh, uh, he's actually gaining health back somehow. What's going on? Um, I'm also using her. I've, I've been experimenting with some different um, uh, skill abilities. Uh, right now I'm using uh, the Murder of Crows, which is one that I actually like a lot because it does um, a lot of health regen, actually. So, I like to use it. Oh, and I think I missed grabbing him there. Yeah, I did. Damn it. So you can see his health is going to come back a little bit. So just keep avoiding his attacks. I should probably have at least one point in teleport slash here. Or I should definitely have one point in teleport slash here just for the evade ability that it provides. Did a real quick death grip there. And then as soon as you do the death grip, keep chopping away at him when he's on the ground. And I think it takes a minimum of three cycles to take out this boss. I don't know if... Uh, you can do it in two. It'd be nice, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the game is programmed to to require two or three uh, cycles, three stages of the main boss. So when he's in that snake form, again, just uh, it, especially when it's kind of as an interlude to the main boss, just run away as fast as possible and like just be looking at the ground. And if you see it start to burrow, start running away, because it does a good amount of damage if it uh, if it gets you on its attack. Oh, and I screwed up again. I got too aggressive, and I was hoping to... Yeah. So when you see his health start to get real low, just expect that, that next uh, death grip opportunity, and finish him off. <laughs> 